Pavlina Show, and I am here in New York City, and I am here with the founder of this amazing event, Whitney. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. We're so excited you're here. Yes, thank you. I, I love being here and everything. This is absolutely amazing. And we've just started, you know, this event, and it's so, like, successful already. So just tell me about how, you know, you got started with it and just everything like that. Yeah, well, the event's really exciting because we have all of the models in the show and it, it's actually really special because all of the models and the dancers donate their time and energy to put this whole show together. So they've been practicing literally for months getting this together, all for charity, all to support Generation Ubuntu. Yeah. That's amazing. So now tell me about your charity and, you know, what it supports. Generation Ubuntu supports children living with HIV in South Africa. So in South Africa, there's the largest number of children living with HIV in the entire world. Um, nearly half a million children under the age of 14 are infected there. Um, so it's a huge, huge problem there, and children have really been overlooked and neglected um, in terms of, of treatment and care in this disease. So Generation Ubuntu is a really unique organization, and we have a model um, that is really comprehensive and sort of gives all of these children the tools that they need to be healthy and successful. So we do health care, social work, nutrition, HIV education and life skills. And in addition, the children really have a center and a, and a place that feels like home um, where they can come. That's amazing. Okay, so what are you like most excited for about the, like tonight? So for tonight, I'm really, really excited about the fact that we have so many new people that are going to learn about the organization for the first time tonight. So I think at least half of the people here are, are brand new to the organization. And one of the big things that we're trying to do this evening, in addition to raising money to supporting the children in South Africa, is to also raise awareness. Because as you probably know, HIV has really been put on the back burner. You just don't hear about it anymore. Um, but it is the leading cause of death in women of childbearing age in the world. It's the second leading cause of death in adolescence in the entire world. And HIV is, is long from over. Even here in the United States, um, adolescent infection rates are increasing. So it's, it's still something that a lot of people have sort of become complacent about and think is over. So we're really trying to bring it back into the forefront and, and raise awareness. Yeah, that's amazing. So what are you, some of your long-term goals? So some of the long-term goals of the organization um, is really just, you know, we're focusing on the children that are in our program now. They are our long-term goals because we know that with the proper treatment and care, their lifespans can be as long as someone who's not living with HIV. So they're our long-term goal is seeing them become successful. Um, you know, they're already really beacons of light in their community and and the world really and they're sharing their gifts and their talents and and we're giving them the time and the opportunity to be able to to do that and to make their lives matter so tell me about your website because you know people can donate on there yeah if you want to learn more you can visit our website it's www.genubuntu.org g-e-n-u-b-u-n-t-u Perfect. Yeah, so everyone's going to go check out the website and donate today. Woo. Perfect. Thank you so much for talking to me, and this is such a great event. Thank you so much, Pavlina. You're amazing. Hey, everyone. It's Pavlina. I'm here in New York City, and I am here with Amy Fries, who is the host of this amazing event tonight. What are you most excited about like, this event? Well, I just love that it's a benefiting a village in South Africa. I went there as a student. I did a study abroad there. And when I went to Cape Town, it's one of the most beautiful places on earth. It's at the point of the Cape where the oceans come together. But not far from there, there is a small village that's greatly affected by AIDS. A lot of children are living with HIV and they need so much help there. And it's really the story of two worlds and it's about somebody reaching out and caring and that's exactly what this organization organization has done so i'm excited to be a part of something that's so specific and direct that we can reach out and make a difference yeah this is going to be awesome and you're going to be an amazing host and everything so what do you have a certain design that you're excited to see or anything like that as the fashion show goes tonight i'm up for anything i'm really excited to see what they have of course it's men's fashion week here in new york city which is always an exciting time but to do it for a specific cause where you're enjoying yourself and then the payback is twofold i'm all in yes and now you're also like a huge meteorologist here in the new york city area so what has been like the craziest weather uh thing that you like covered 
we had a blizzard here earlier in the uh, month. We had two and a half feet of snow. It was insane. But it was kind of like we got all of winter in one day. I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just like everything that we missed out on, like in December, it just like happened on that one day. It was crazy. <laughs>